What are, what are some of the use cases you're most interested in for tokenizing assets? Look, I think the panel's uh, hit the nail on the head. And just to summarize, my three things are exactly what have been brought up, right? I think, number one, tokenization brings better access, right? So go to Dennis's point, whether it's private equity funds. Usually the purview of very wealthy clients, right? If you have a fund that only accepts a million dollar check, well, with tokenization, you can break it down and allow your investors subject to the right regulatory requirements, maybe $20,000 parcels, right? Not speaking for everyone, but $20,000 and in investments a little bit easier to come up with than a million dollars, right? So whether it's uh, JP Morgan's private equity funds, whether it's a digitally native firm like Securitize, for example, making hard to reach investments or um, illiquid investments, art, wine, and the like, available to many, many more investors, and hopefully eventually someday with the right protections down to normal investors like everyone up here, access is number one, right? Number two, to go back to, uh, I think it was Thomas's point, uh, collateral movement, operational leverage, right? You have the ability to use stuff that's just lying around and use it for better purposes, right? If you have treasuries posted somewhere and they're lying dormant in an account, maybe getting swept for incremental return, why can't I leverage that stuff on my balance sheet and say, I'm gonna post these as collateral, keep my return unless they're taken away from me, but use that for something else, right, as collateral. And then the third thing I would say on Gerald's point, right, added return. Even on stuff that we might not even think about, if I can use my phone and my unused Wi-Fi and donate to Helium for added return, or if I take the Filecoin example, where I have unused storage space on my laptop or my desktop at home, I can basically give it to someone that is looking to provide that service to someone else who's willing to pay for that unused storage space. I can make a return on a, effectively a dead asset that no one even thought was an asset in the first place, right? So just to sum up, I mean, I think these are great things, right? Much more access, much more operational leverage and, and even some true leverage in terms of what we know in terms of pledging uh, securities and, and collateral and added return on things that we probably never even would have considered.